As a composer of atonal music, it is not unlikely that you're working with pitch class sets. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the online pitch class set toolkit. Let's introduce pitch class sets. My reference is the book by Alan Forte entitled The Structure of Atonal Music. This in-depth discussion of pitch class sets contains a table with set names, prime forms and interval vectors. The example with name 525 contains the cardinal number 5, which is the number of pitches in the set. The prime form shows the actual pitch classes with integer numbers 0 to 11 along the chromatic scale. And the interval vector has 6 number elements for specific semitone intervals in the set. Next, let's discuss pitch class set properties and transformations. On the right, we see the example set 525 in the pitch disc diagram. The root is C corresponding to pitch class number 0, and the 5 pitches are displayed as blue circles representing the prime form. The interval vector on the left lists the number of consonant and dissonant intervals. For example, looking at the fifth element, we see that there are two perfect fourths in the set. Also, this set contains a maximum of three minor third intervals. The first transformation type is transposition. Transposing upward implies a clockwise rotation of the set. Inversion corresponds to mirroring the set relative to the root. And finally, the set complement are all other previously non-selected pitch classes. I developed an online pitch class set graphical toolkit that I now will demonstrate. Open the Tone Set web page in the browser. Drop down menus at the top contain a list of all pitch class sets with cardinal numbers between 3 and 9. Select the example set 525. The pitch disc diagram shows the 5 pitch names according to the prime form. The inspector shows other pitch class set properties such as the root C and the highlighted O indicating the original form with clockwise pitch orientation. Looking at the 6 element interval vector, we may verify the single minor second interval D to E flat, the two major second intervals C to D and E flat to F, and the minor third intervals such as F to A flat. Four buttons enable set transformations. Transpose up leads to a clockwise pitch rotation. Transpose down is rotation in the opposite direction. Inverting the set highlights the status symbol and shows the ordering of the pitches downward from the root C. Press the complement button and observe the highlighting of all other 7 pitch classes and the corresponding status indicator. Quite often we would like to know the pitch class set name for a given set of pitches. This inverse process is possible with the analysis tool. In this example I put ticks in the boxes for the pitches D, E, F, G and B. Press the Analyze button and see the result. Here the inverted form of 525 with root G. Loading this set in the inspector confirms the analysis result. Another option is comparing two pitch class sets. There is a second pitch class set inspector in the tool and I now load set 525 on both sides. The pitch disc diagram in the center shows the overlap between the two sets. In this trivial case it is the full set 525. Next I will demonstrate another property of the interval vector. The elements also indicate the number of constant pitches under transposition. A semitone upward should yield one overlapping pitch and indeed that is the pitch class E flat. Upward transposition by a major second should yield two overlapping pitch classes, confirmed by inspecting the D and F. Likewise, shifting the set by three semitones leads to the maximum overlap of three pitches E flat, F 
and A flat. For sets with different cardinal numbers, the smaller may be a subset of the larger. This I will demonstrate with set 525 in the left and 37 in the right inspector. By the way, for some sets there will be a tonal equivalent description, such as the D-7 chord with 5 omitted, shown here. The subset property under transposition and inversion is shown in this matrix. The first line tells me that set 37 is a subset of 525 under transposition by either 0 or 3 semitones. This is confirmed by the inspector pitch disc diagrams. Let's verify this property for upward transposition by a minor third. The subset property also holds when first inverting the set 37 followed by upward transposition by 5 semitones. For two sets with identical cardinal number the inspector shows similarity. With cardinal number 5 we load set 25 in the left and set 35 in the right inspector. Set 535 has a tonal equivalent meaning, here a minor 7th chord with added 11th or a pentatonic scale. The matrix shows both pitch and interval similarity for these sets. There should be two similar pitches in the set, effect confirmed by the center pitch disc diagram. See the C and D. Also, the fourth element of the interval vector is equal for both sets and yes, indeed, for both there is a single occurrence of a major third interval. Finally, let's have a look at properties of a pitch class set and its complement. The original set 525 is loaded in the left inspector, the complement set 725 in the right inspector. The smaller set is predicted to be a subset when transposed by 4 semitones. We will not find the subset property when either set is inverted. Another composition technique is based on the minimum overlap between two sets. We find one common pitch class set, the G-sharp, after transposing the set 725 by 4 semitones. There's another case of single pitch overlap at 7 semitones transposition. Inverting the larger set 725, then transposing, we find a unique case of zero overlap when the root is C-sharp. The Pitch Class Set Toolkit has additional features. On the web page below the GUI there are user guidelines. Input validation checks prevent user error. And in case you want to compare more than two sets, simply open multiple toolset windows in new browser tabs. Examples of music composed with Pitch Class Sets may be found in other videos on this YouTube channel and on my website. The background music for this tutorial, a chase music cue in a modern jazz idiom, is based on the set 525 and its complement 725. You may find the online tool at the URL shown here. Donations by happy users are welcome. Subscribe to my channel and, as always, thanks for watching.